Hello, my name is Logan, nice to meet you. Korea has a lot of photo booths, maybe a little too much. In Yeonnam alone, there's Aura Pic, Fatone, Purple Mint, Photo Gray, Photoism Colored, Candy Photo, Haru Film, Insticker, Life Four Cut, Plan B Studio, sus by the way, Photoheim, Taurus, The Film, Yeonnam Four Cut, Photoshop, Photoism Box, Photo Lab, Half Studio, Photo Ive, Momo Self Studio, Don't Look Up, Broom Studio, The Move, Up Tension, and lastly, Am Diary. So yeah, a lot. And today I'm going to be trying out every single one. Okay, I'm lying. That was actually supposed to be my original plan for this video, but I kind of, sorta, I didn't realize how many different photo booths there actually were in Yeonnam. And I also don't got that kind of money to spend. So instead, I'm going to be going to five of the most interesting photo booths that I found around the area. I think that's still pretty fun. My bank account thinks so anyways. So let's start. Ew. So the first photo booth we are going to is Aura Pic. This place has two options. You could either take an American yearbook type photo or an elevator photo with a fisheye lens. All of these photo booth places are 24 hours and have no staff, but there are CCTVs everywhere. So keep that in mind if you're trying to do something that you shouldn't. Most of these places also have like a little prop station if you want to make your pictures a little bit more fun. They had fairly good props in this place. These sunglasses made me feel like Cyclops and X-Men, but I ultimately decided I didn't want to use any props for the true American yearbook feel. Also random, but every time I see non-Americans doing this trend, they always put like headphones on or something and i get it it's just for the aesthetic like it's not that serious but if i had headphones on when i was taking my yearbook photo i would literally get yelled at to take that shit off maybe that was just the schools that i went to though i don't know so this is how the inside of the photo booth looks like and when you go inside you tap on the screen to start picking out how you want the photo frame to look like i went with like a school id frame they always give you a minimum of two copies like it doesn't give you the option for just one and this costs 5,000 won around three dollars usd which is pretty much the price of every photo booth in korea so then it's time to live your model fantasy and when you're done you pick the picture you want in a final photo and you also pick the coloring of it you can make some pictures black and white and you can also make them lighter or darker i just stuck with the original coloring for mine and in a few seconds it prints it out for you they also have a little station where you can write on the photo with markers and put it in a little plastic protector on the final photo it gives you a little qr code that gives you the option to download the photo digitally it also takes a video while you are posing so you can download that as well sadly i forgot to do this depending on the place it gives you 24 to 48 hours to download it digitally and when i scanned a qr code it had expired by then but that's completely on me so yeah, um, scan the QR code immediately. But isn't it so cute? Like, I'm kind of obsessed. Be Logan. Our next stop is Photoshop. This place also has a lot of booths to choose from. There was a booth that took your photo from up above, a little book area, a booth with three colored sections, another book area but in white, one that takes your photo from below, and a London telephone box booth which was the one that I decided to do. The props that they had were more on the simple side, they were just chic sunglasses in black or white, which makes sense since it fit the general vibe of the photo booth sets. So I did my silly little poses. I really like the telephone box concept, it looks so cool, and I also really like using the phone as a prop. I'm not a poser, well, I am. I'm a poser, but I'm not great at posing myself. Like my go-to pose is just a peace sign. I know. In Abby Lee Miller's voice, lazy, boring. I need to go to the Wanyang Academy of Posing. I don't know. But using the phone as a prop definitely made it easier to come up with poses. This footage, by the way, is a video the photo booth takes of you that you can download from the QR code. Thankfully, I was able to download this one before it expired. So I picked my fade pics and I just kept the frame, the original block they had, and this is how it turned out. It came out so cute. Like, we're kind of two for two right now. Like, let's keep this up. Next photo booth that caught my eye was Insticker. This booth is on the main street, so it is a bit smaller and cramped. I'm not gonna lie, this photo booth was probably my least favorite out of the ones I went to. The booth that they had were kind of just a standard plain background camera eye level shots they did have a high angle shot so i'll give them that but they did have something that looked really cool they had a high angle mirror booth and i really wanted to try it i think this photo booth was kind of on the older side and to be honest i could tell because of the props they had like the props looked worn down and old they definitely needed to be replaced but the mirror room was cute again not my favorite i think it looked cooler visualizing it in my head cute concept i don't know about the execution but maybe that's on me i chose a daisy theme for the frame and this was the final photo eh Cute, but could be better. Okay, moving on. Be Logan. This one I really loved because I almost didn't go to this one. This photo booth was kind of more hidden than the rest of the photo booths around the area, so I almost missed it, but this one is called Uptension. This photo booth had a New York subway concept. They had three booths, a balloon booth, a standard subway car booth, and one called Down Street. It was basically like a tiny room, so you needed to sit down or kneel to take the photo. May or may not have bonked my head going into this room. The props were standard. To be honest, they didn't really match the theme, other than maybe this Kodak disposable camera, but I also don't know what props would match the theme. Like, what props give off New York subway? Like, 
a tote bag, I don't know. I ended up choosing the standard subway car booth. This room was also like so my vibe, like all of the different colors, graphics, stickers, and the graffiti everywhere, obsessed. I stuck with the standard black frame and here it is. Absolutely love this one. The concept is so fun, probably my fave, not gonna lie. The QR code on this legit just did not work though. Like you can see where the QR code is supposed to be and it's literally just missing, which is such a shame because I really wanted to download this one digitally. Oh well, still super cute though, love it. Okay, so for our last photo booth, we are at Candy Photo. This place really caught my eye because it's so pink and I love pink so this place was like made for me. It's true, I heard a rumor about it. When I walked in, I immediately saw this toilet room booth and I knew I just had to do it, like there was no other option. They also had this room with some like green telephones and they also had a green screen room which was being used for somebody's like personal photo shoot. Like they had a cameraman with their own personal camera and everything and honestly, smart. Like why buy a green screen and lighting when you can just use a free one? I respect it. Work smarter, not harder. The props that they had were definitely more playful, very colorful, looked very clean and you too. Now let me tell you, this photo booth was a nightmare in disguise. I thought it was gonna be so fun with all of the pink and everything. This shit was so hard for no reason. I wanted to play with the toilet paper, like wrap myself, like, oh my God, I just got stuck or whatever. And the timer of the photo booth was like way too fast for like no reason. Every photo I took, I was like not ready for it. Like tell me why I was stressed taking these. Also the lighting in this room was way too yellow. It's a no for me, dog. This is how it turned out. And bro, what is that? It's so bad like I'm crying. And the QR code also straight up did not work. Like it printed the QR code but I couldn't scan it at all. But to be honest I don't want to download it digitally anyway so maybe that's a good thing. But what photo booth was your fave? Let me know. Current Obsession, Sabrina Carpenter Espresso. Love you. Bye.